Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at another pop review with Pop Disney Gargoyles number 389. This is Goliath. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright, so as I said today, we're taking a look at the Pop Disney Gargoyles number 389 Goliath vinyl figure. As you can see, a nice little window display side of Goliath. Then we've got the display side, which as you guys know, is how I display all my pops. Very nice. Then we've got the back. You've got 389, which is Goliath, 390, which we already reviewed, which is Demona, 391 Hudson, 392 Brooklyn, 393 Broadway, 394 Bronx, and 395 Lexington. Then another window side. And the top. Now let's go ahead and take him out of the package. Disney's Gargoyles did premiere in 1994, and Goliath was portrayed in voice by actor Keith David, who is no who is no stranger to children's entertainment, as one of his earlier roles was as Keith the Handyman on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood from 1982 to 1984. The more you know. So, <clears throat> with Goliath here, nice nice color to him matches very well to the way he's shown in the uh, animated series nice wings here it would have been nice if they gave us a variant where his wings are actually folded over him like a cape which is how he's normally seen in the show uh, his wings are usually only out when he's in battle so that would be a nice variant if they decide to give us that uh, but as you can see here very nice uh, not much to the paint it's mainly just a uh, very pale violet uh, paint job with the other colors painted over top of it uh, the wings not too bad on the paint job a little bit of uh, airs there in the corners which you know is to be expected because it's such a tight area uh, the eye looks slightly scuffed I'm not sure what the reason for that is looks like there's might be something on it but overall a very nice pop I was excited to learn that Funko was coming out with gargoyles pops um, I'm not sure why Amazon is pretty much the last uh, to get new pops uh, 
it, the Amazon release date is a lot different than the actual release date, and I'm not sure why. Um, it would be nice if the release date was the release date and not just a different release date for each store. Uh, because I usually shop on Amazon, and when I see a pop is coming out, I tend to think, you know, judging by when the Amazon release date is, that that's the pops release date, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, so, the Demona last week was not an early release to GameStop. I apologize for that, guys. Um, it is what it is. Uh, they've been out for about a month or so now. About a month, I think. But Amazon just released them uh, just a couple weeks ago. Like, two weeks ago. So, yeah. But anyway, very nice, very nice pop. They got the horns right on his head. Uh, Goliath, of course, was the only of the gargoyles who originally had a name. None of the others ever had a name until they came to the 20th century. Uh, there, uh, Demona was the second gargoyle that had a name because she never, she didn't actually turn to stone like the others. She turned human and was pretty much immortal, so she had to take on a name, being Demona. Uh, the other gargoyles are Angela, which is Goliath and Demona's daughter, uh, who was raised on Avalon and returned to New York with her father and joined the uh, joined the tribe of gargoyles there uh, in season two, I believe. Uh, the other gargoyles, of course, include Hudson, Brooklyn, Broadway, Bronx, and Lexington. And they usually fight uh, David Xanatos and I believe they're called the Wild Pack. I could be wrong. Or maybe just the pack. I, I'm not entirely sure. Humans who are cybernetically augmented uh, and take on names such as Coyote, Jackal, Wolf, uh, stuff like that. Uh, those are some of their main uh, enemies. Come season two when David Xanatos and Coyote uh, had a, got married and had a child, uh, Xanatos became more of a... Um, unlikely ally to the gargoyles because he had more important things uh, he had to take care of his child uh, so he wasn't really an enemy of the gargoyles after season two uh, you've also got puck which was the assistant to xanatos he was actually voiced by brett spiner which uh, for those of you who don't know gargoyles is really well known for having uh, former star trek the next generation cast members do the voices of the characters on the show. So there you have it, guys. This was the Pop Disney Gargoyles number 389 Goliath vinyl figure. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.